What's up YouTube, Northwest Farm Dad here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new unlined waxed trucker jacket from Flint and Tinder available at huckberry.com for $228. So this is the new version of the lined wax trucker jacket, which you can also still get from Huckberry. That one is $298 for the lined version. Uh, my first impressions on this jacket are great. I would say the two things that I love the most about it are first and foremost, it is made in the USA. And the second part is that the, it not only is it uh, cut and sewn in the USA, but it is a uh, seven ounce waxed sailcloth that is uh, manufactured in New Jersey. So uh, it's both sewn and uh, sourced from American-made products. So this is the type of thing that I am wholly in support of, American jobs, American manufacturing. Um, yeah, I don't know where the buttons are sourced from, uh, but I don't know that you can get much more American-made than this jacket. So if we look at the new unlined jacket, there's a couple of differences between this one and the lined. The first is the, there are two pockets. On the lined version, there is only a left chest pocket. The pockets are a little bit smaller and the pocket flap is a little bit wider than the actual pocket on the new jacket. It's also sewn into this top, um, uh, stitching line here on the, on the new jacket. And then if you look at the pockets, they're at um, a slight angle. So if we come over to the lined version, we only have one pocket. The pocket flap lines up to the pocket itself. And if we come down and we take a look at the, um, the pocket cut, it's actually straight up and down. So those are the primary sort of aesthetic differences on the exterior of the jacket. If we look at the inside of the line version, we have just this uh, single small pocket here. Um, if we go to the unlined version, um, we have the single pocket is still here, but then we also have um, an upper pocket on both sides. So uh, you do have that upper pocket on both sides for stashing stuff. From a material cost perspective, uh, the material uh, exterior wax cotton for these runs about $27 a yard. I'd estimate with scrap, you're probably looking at two and a half to three yards worth of material. So call it $80 worth of materials plus buttons, um, rounded up to 85. Uh, manufacturing costs are probably gonna add another $20 to the cost of the jacket, shipping, everything else. I think it's a reasonable deal at 238. I mean, at the end of the day, the company has to make money. Um, and it's not like this is a $10 jacket to manufacture. There's some serious um, quality material and quality craftsmanship that goes into something. Uh, and I would really challenge folks to try and find a jacket that is more American than this right now. You can't, it's really, really hard to find something that is both made in America, sewn in America, and that has materials that come uh, from the US. So um, overall, really, really uh, good first impression on this jacket. I'm excited to start to wear it. Uh, I would call this jacket kind of a late spring, early fall. Uh, there's no insulation type properties, but if it's a rainy day and it's, you know, a little bit brisk out. Um, this is the jacket that you're gonna throw on as opposed to the line jacket where you're gonna start sweating pretty quick. This is more of a early spring, late fall. This is something that I would wear um, sort of on the uh, shoulder season between um, spring and summer or summer and fall. So from a fit perspective, I'm six foot one, 190 pounds, and I have really long arms. I've got like 35 inch arms. So I ordered the large because they don't sell this one in the long version. For the line version, I have a medium long. Uh, the arms fit great. I'm super happy with how they fit. Uh, the waist is about two and a half to three inches below my natural waist. And I'm not running into a ton of extra fabric on the front of the jacket. So overall, it's a, uh, it fits me well and it's comfortable. So it's, uh, the fabric is not super um, tight and stiff. It's pretty loosened up. Uh, and, you know, overall, I like the fit of this jacket. So this is now the lined version and this is the medium long version. Again, the arms fit about the same. Uh, the difference being that the large, the shoulder is longer so the arm hangs down lower, but this one, um, it's uh, tighter in the shoulders for me. It's, it's more form fitting. 
uh, and it hangs down probably four and a half inches below the waist. So that's the difference for those folks that want to know the difference between a medium long and a large. It's mostly going to be in the waist and where um, the shoulder sits, uh, but the arm length overall is going to be pretty similar. So a couple other final observations on the left hand side you've got the uh, unlined wax trucker on the right you have the Schaefer blacktail uh, both were sewn in America but I think you can see some pretty significant differences where you've got the double stitching on the um, Huckberry uh, Flint Tinder jacket versus like single stitching on the Schaefer uh, just there's more effort and work and attention to detail that goes into uh, Flint and Tinder Huckberry jacket. So uh, for both uh, value, uh, craftsmanship, um, right now I don't think you can find a better uh, jacket than an American made Flint and Tinder jacket. I think, I think they are currently the, uh, the leaders uh, in the wax cotton space right now. I'm excited to see what they come up with this uh, summer and fall. I uh, hope you guys like the videos. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, it's, you know, comments, uh, likes, and that kind of stuff is what enables me to get some of these items to review for you guys. And uh, I appreciate your time.